Georgia 38 with 48 seconds to go. It's 20 to 13. Vanderbilt comes up to the line. The dogs desperately trying to stay unbeaten. And I mean desperately trying to stay unbeaten. They're on the Georgia 38 with 48 seconds. I think defensive football players are, are just a little bit different breed than the offensive football player. You, you're always reacting, you're always making up, you're always the underdog. Uh, I particularly like that situation where you, where you, have, to, you have to make up for uh, lost ground and, and uh, people don't really expect you to be able to do it. It's, uh, you're always scrapping and you're always fighting. And it, it's not so much a talented position as it is just a guts and hard work and determination position. And I think that that is more conducive to feeling at the end of the game that you really earn uh, the respect of the other people. And uh, I enjoy that. Uh, Hogue. <laughs> Could talk all day about Hogue. I didn't know until about the end of his senior year all these little special drills he had to get quickness into his feet more to help his jumping ability. He worked at that little things like you'd like to teach your kid to do, but you know, kids aren't gonna have, take time to do that. But Hogue did that. Hogue was just remarkable and proved it in the NFL because he was not fast enough, but he still played well. He, Hogue was just, just absolutely outstanding. I don't say he's the best defensive back we ever had, but he always showed up in the right place, if you remember. And as a freshman, we lined him up to block punts when we first saw him, so there was some kind of a quickness there. And he was a genius up here. Our Georgia team passed a true stress test in Nashville against a fired up Vandy team. The test went all the way down to the last play before the final outcome was Georgia 20, Vanderbilt 13. The play of the defense was superb against one of the most prolific passing teams in America. We only gave up 13 points and it was more outstanding when you consider that 10 of those 13 points came as a direct result of our offensive mistakes. There were some outstanding individual play, like, like Andre Holmes, who intercepted two passes. But perhaps Terry Hogue was the difference in the football game. Georgia was 4-0-1 when it paid a visit to Nashville in 1983. The Commodores had been a pesky opponent for the Dogs through the years, and this was no exception. The Dogs got two first-half touchdowns from tailback Keith Montgomery. This 30-yard scamper gave Georgia a 14-10 lead. Vandy was putting the ball in the air most of the evening, but Terry Hogue was there to make life miserable for the Doors. Just before the half, he stops a Vandy drive with this diving interception, but it was just part of an evening of great plays. Normally a roverback, Hogue was playing out of position at safety. He was also playing with some pain and a noticeable limp. All that went away when the ball was snapped, however. In the second half, Vanderbilt connected on one field goal, while Kevin Butler hit two for the Dogs. Georgia led 20-13. to Vandy had a chance, but they just couldn't find a way to get around Hogue. He deflects one ball here. But Hogue would save one of the biggest plays of his college career for the closing seconds of the game. They've come down to the Georgia 38 with 48 seconds to go. It's 20 to 13. Vanderbilt comes up to the line. The dogs desperately trying to stay unbeaten. And I mean desperately trying to stay unbeaten. They're on the Georgia 38 with 48 seconds. Page, kind of a long count this time. He's back now to throw. Dumps it to a running back on the 31. They hit him right away, but it was complete. They got seven yards. And the clock is running 37, 36, 35 seconds. Page dropping back with 16 seconds less than that. He's going to run to the right. He's throwing a long bomb in a corner, and there he is. And somebody broke it up with a great leap. Terry Hogue got up in the air. Hogue got up with one hand and broke up a cinch touchdown down there. I told Terry Hogue, as well as the football team after the game, that not only is he the finest defensive player that I've ever had the privilege of being associated with, but in my opinion, the finest defensive player that I've ever seen. Terry Hogue, even in his senior year, was still doing certain drills to increase his jumping ability and the quickness of his feet, because Hogue was slow. The Dogs won 20-13 on their way to a 10-1-1 1 1 1983 season.